Hello everybody, Galarian Sangvi here. Welcome to the next episode. In this episode, we're probably not going to be doing any battling or anything exciting like that. We're going to get back to our, our duties with helping Calyrex. So let's go see the mayor and see what we can learn about how Calyrex's steed. Each, since that will pretty much be the focus of this video. Have you seen what happened to the state of the king of the king of Bountiful Harvest? Of the state, I cannot read. The statue of the of the king of the Bountiful Harvest. Its head has become massive. Hmm. You say that at at the way the king's supposed to look? Now that you mention it, it does resemble the sign on our town souvenir shirts. But you speak as if you've seen the king with your own two eyes. The statue's been broken since I was a child. Oh, of course. You want to learn about the, ro the royal steed of the King of Bountiful Harvest. Well, I don't know why you, you would be so interested in such things, but come, um, then, follow me. An old book I read long ago said that the king's royal steed was particularly fond of a certain spe a special vegetable. But my memory isn't what it used to be, and I can't recall exactly what the steed so desired. I think it's best that you search our bookshelf. Uh, search our bookshelf. Sir, search on the bookshelf over there if you want to find out any more. Oh, let's see what we can find out through the books. All kinds of books about the Crown Tundra. Let's go down them in order. The King of Bountiful Harvest. The King was a great Pokemon that brought abundance to our cold land. With a sweep of its right hand, the land would be blanketed in, 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 in balanced grasses and blooms. With a sweep of its, le of its left hand, the fruit of the fields would ripen and grow heavy. Its great crown of green glimmering, the king gallop across the land aside its proudful steed. And in their footsteps, buds would burst from the soil, and the, and the rich life was born across the region. And so we've worshipped the Pokemon and paid aided it all due tribute as king. See what the next book is. The King's Proud Steed. The horse Pokemon on gi gave it it uh, given over its power to serve the king and carry its hinder and thriller. I need to look up what those words are, because I think I may have butchered them. The two even became one for a time, combining their strengths to create a force in a single night. This proud steed had been a wild thing once, ravaging the village crops and causing much woe. But the king in all its greatness brought this fierce creature to its heel and, se and, secure and secured its loyalty. And for each among us who claims the steed's hide, I was black as the midnight gloom in which ghosts appear, there is another who claims it was white as a block of solid ice. None alive can say which is the truth. Interesting, let's look up the reigns of unity. Though these reigns did the king did did the king send its power in order to tame and control the proud steed, the reigns in fact were made by the hands of the people, in thanks of the plenty brought by the king. These reigns bound not only the horse and the king to, to one another, they bound the people to the king as well. At the dawning of each new year, we must never forget to gift the king with this offering. Let the radiant flower and the mane of the steed be woven together to bind us, us all in faith. Let the secrets of this sacred art be passed from parent to child to grandchild and never be and never forgotten. Interesting, I wonder if they still remember how to make those. The hardy crops for for the tundra. 
While carrots can be grown in the crown tundra, they have an unusual growth habit. When growth oath beneath the the le the they hit the leopard the leopard snow, these hardy roots tend to develop into icy root carrots. When grown intact, close to where the many souls are laid to rest, shade root carrots will be your crop. Shade root carrots are, fav are a favorite treat for many ghost type Pokemon, while ice type Pokemon seem to d be delight in eating ice root carrots. According to an old fairy tales, the steed that the king of the bountiful harvest rode upon loved both these varieties, or perhaps one or the other. Records seem to contradict one another, with some stories speaking of a white steed delighting in the ice root carrots and others mentioning a black steed devouring the shade root carrots. Let's check out the next book. Try the, fr the Freezy Tone s s Snow Samba! Is this supposed to be like a play of like some of those like, so like Samba and Samba dances that's been becoming really popular? Isn't it tough dealing with the cold here on the on the tundra, with the temperatures seeming to drop lower and lower with each passing year? While it's tempting to stay indoors where it's cozy, don't forget to move that body too. Try the Freezy Ton Snow Samba today and get your body moving to stay warm all winter. Lift both hands in the air, wave here, wave there, bow low, touch your toe, and freeze. Then up, up we pop and start it all over once more. From a circle with friends, don't and don't be shy. The snow samba will keep you young at heart. Lastly, let's check, check the town records of the tourism initiatives. Freezy Tons souvenir brainstorming sessions. Minutes taken by the town's tourism lead. We got a ton of submissions in our last round, so thanks for all who contributed ideas. We settled on an idea for our new Freezy Ton souvenir, sure to lure in more visitors, a shirt, featuring our King of Bountiful Harvest. By reusing the artwork from some old documents, we should be able to keep the sign costs low too. And that's all the books. And he doesn't say anything new, so let's go check on Calyrex. Seems like our little friend is waiting for us. Let's not keep the king waiting. Let's on go. Get a large week, and also I think these ladies now say something since Sonya left. Oh no, if you talk to them, they just talk about the the royal steed. I think, I, I remember them saying something like, Oh, my Beldum's gonna be lonely now that sh that girl left. The king's royal steed? I was told it had a wondrous fur coat that was white as untouched snow. I heard the king's royal steed had a beautiful fur coat that was dark as night. Anyway, let's go check on the king. Which really, now that I think about it, this isn't really the best hiding spot because it's so open. If anybody just walked by here, they would see Calyrex with no issues. Hmm? Oh, hey there, chief. I had a feeling someone called me. Was it you? Huh? Come on! Human child, were you able to find find some? Were you able to find something out about my royal steed? Why yes. You say you found out about something that my loyal steed could not resist. It's been so long we rode together that I've completely forgotten. With this information, we may be able to lure my royal steed to me yet. And I'm saying royal instead of loyal, am I? So tell me, what is it that my I, I loyal steed would find so irresistible? Now, 
this is the right answer, but I want to show these other answers off because I don't see people showing them off. Let's start with the silly ones first. The Freezy Tom Fame shirt. Ah, yes, the garment of my image on it. I suspect that even a, a poor famous mile of my image would not be enough would be enough to send my royal steed running. <laughs> its loyalty is not what it used to be. Was there perhaps anything else you discovered? The freezing ton snow samba. The freezing ton snow samba. I did see the villagers performing a strange dance some years ago, but it's hardly irresistible. In fact, I'd imagine even a greedent would lose its app would lose its appetite after one look at such an odd dis display. Was there perhaps anything else you discovered? The Reigns of Unity. Hmm, the Reigns of Unity, you say? This is true that it would help me regain the link with my loyal steed, but it has been many years since the humans made a new set of Reigns for me. I doubt we shall be able to attain them now. Now let's give the correct answer. Oh ho! Carrots, you say? Yes, yes, I remember now. Even back when we were together, it would leap at any chance to eat some kind of crop. It took everything I had to restrain it. Looking back, the crop must have been carrots. I am in your debt, human child. What we must do now is clear. If we're able to find some carrots somewhere, it should be but a trifle... Uh, but a yeah, is that trifle? To lure my loyal steed back, loyal steed back to me. I wonder, do the humans of the village grow any carrots? If we could attain a single, even a single seed, I could grow a carrot er, from it myself. By the stars! You say you have carrot seeds? That strange bag that contains the seeds of carrots? You humans never stop adapting and evolving. I'm constantly amazed by your ingenuity. And yet, hmm, the fields of the village simply won't do. They are not suited for growing carrots. If we could find rich soil, I could use my powers to grow the crop we need. Now, where might we find the soil suited for growing these crops in this tundra of mine? Ah, I see two spots that might suit our needs. One is covered in the Polinsinan snow. And another spot is a field by gravestones where those who moved on have were laid to rest. Either of those locations should allow me to use my powers to grow the carrots we need. Please, I ask that you choose a field and plant those seeds. Go! What in the? I seem to be getting in the habit of falling asleep outside. Go! Ha ha ha! I guess it just goes to show that holding down the fort isn't that all that easy. You take care of yourself, Chief. Don't overdo it. You mark the two fields Calyrex told you about on your town map. And we jolted down the status on Legendary Clue 1. Upon hearing that I was able to find carrot seeds, Calyrex told me about two fields where I can grow the carrots. I need to pick either of the fields covered in snow or by the graves to, and plant the seeds. So we check our handy dandy map. There's two locations that are marked. Which location will I go to? Oh, hang on, cutscene. Nan Nanny!
Sing that song about the King Steed Pokemon. Oh, of course, my dear. I love to. Ice root carrots, cold as ice, munch all up by the bully in white. Sage root carrots, dark as bloom, munch by the bully of a ga of a ghostly gloom. That is a really short song. Now make sure you eat your vegetables too, just like the Pokemon in the song. Yes, Nan. I honestly forgot about that and as soon as I leave the area. So in the next episode. We'll go to one of those fields to plant the uh, to plant those carrots. However, the, the conflicting information either says that the po that the steed was either white as snow as ice or dark as go uh, d uh, ghostly darkness. Hmm, I wonder why that is. Oh, but I think I'll explain that in the next episode because this is actually important information to know. Do, do do subscribe and, and like the video. It helps my channel grow. And I'll see you in the next episode. Later.